Forgiveness in a relationship. How can we forgive someone who has hurt us so deeply? The thing is, how do we not forgive? If we've decided to still be in the relationship with someone who's hurt us, to make the choice to stay on and continue to be with them, it has to be a fresh start. It's a lot harder than it sounds, but truly forgiving someone isn't us doing a favor for the other person. Emotionally, it feels like we're letting the person off too easily if we just forgive them, like we're endorsing their actions. But in reality, we're letting ourselves off the hook. Why would we want to suffer even more by holding on to that anger and that resentment that we would feel this rage every time we look at the person? Sometimes even when we want to continue being with the person who's hurt us badly, we want them to suffer for what they did. We want them to pay a penance for what they did to us. And whilst punishing someone may inflict pain on the other person, it also takes a toll on our own emotions emotional and mental health. And ultimately, it doesn't help resolve problems in the relationship. It just makes it more and more fragile. Forgiving someone doesn't mean we allow them to treat us badly. And letting go isn't giving permission for them to hurt us again. Because logically, when there is a problem in our relationship, we have to be able to address it to talk, to communicate, to be honest with our feelings and the time it would take for us to be able to fully trust someone again. Letting go of the anger and the resentment doesn't mean that it'll erase the hurt we feel. It just means that we're allowing ourselves to drive our present and our future whilst nothing can change the past. Even when we're in a committed relationship, it does pay to ask ourselves often if we want to be in it, if we want to be with this person because the answer helps us take responsibility for what we want and helps us move forward and be happy always.